Craig, when you look at, I mean, BYD, this is incredible. Like, without recharging, without refueling 2,000 kilometers, is this, a, is this, first of all, really doable, and is this groundbreaking? I think it, it, it speaks to the, the fact that uh, they really see value in pushing the boundaries of what hybrids can do, given the fact that, that they are, you know, competing on a quarter-by-quarter quarter basis with uh, Tesla for a pure battery electric vehicle leadership. Uh, it, it suggests that there are still quite a lot of holdouts uh, and really sort of puts BYD at odds with Tesla, which was kind of scolding the rest of the industry just on their last earnings. Uh, you know, when, when they reported earnings last, they said, you know, EVs are kind of taking it on the chin right now. Hybrids are having this resurgence. We think that's the wrong strategy. Uh, this really speaks to this idea that BYD feels differently. But, so are they working on any anything else? And when you look at some of you know the, the the things that are coming out of China in terms of EVs or hybrids, are they really winning the game? They're they're uh, dominant in this space in China. I think they're also really viewing this as sort of the way forward for them in a lot of export markets where uh, EV charging infrastructure is not as solid as it is in China. Uh, in, in China, that's one of the you know big things working in the favor of of uh, EV uptake is the. Fact that you are able to count on a, a public charge, uh, you know, mu throughout much of the country. It's not the case, you know, even in, in Europe. And so they're really, I, I do expect that to see them lean into this in, in some of the export markets where they have really big ambitions to grow. Um, Craig, what are you expecting from Volkswagen? So you have, you know, the, the Chinese EV makers that are being supported are doing, you know, quite well. You have a lot of support from the U.S. and then Europe is kind of stuck in the middle. Yeah, the, the Chinese loom large over this meeting, I think, uh, more so than ever. Uh, the, the fact that Volkswagen has lost its leadership position in China mm -hmm. has been a big red flag for investors. I think, uh, you know, questions about, you know, whether or not they can sort out their sort of do-it-alone software strategy, mm -hmm. that's really uh, held them back in terms of delaying new models. Uh, I also think it, it hurts, you know, even once they've gotten those models out, they haven't been as competitive. They're glitchy. They're not as, as attractive uh, as some of uh, the other wares that, that are out there. And so they're, they're, they're losing uh, position in some of their most important markets. And uh, the, the stock price is, is uh, feeling the effects of that. So we are hearing from investors who are a bit disgruntled with all the above. <laughs>